Welcome to Train World TV. Today we have a special guest at York, CEO Mike Wolf of MTH Trains. Thank you for coming yeah, here, thanks Mike. Thanks for coming, Mike. And right. also no my father, Ken Senior. Can't yeah. can't forget to leave him out. <laughs> yeah. I I was gonna Otherwise, I'll hear person. about it forever. <laughs> 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 but basically, you just announced your new catalog, um, yeah. the 2017 Volume Two New MTH Catalog and everybody's excited. Everybody right. waits to hear and see what's in your new catalog. This, cut, this catalog has lots of color in it, lots of uh, neat, specially painted, right on the cover, the AC4400, mm -hmm. that's gonna be popular. It, it has the, we have both the one with the blue stripe and the red stripe in the, in the catalog, you get that. But also, the, the reason to put the, the AC4400 in the catalog this time is this uh, the holiday train, which is oh, actually wow. every year the Canadian Pacific Railroad what puts the lights on right where the lights are on this train. That's a and, real train. Oh, absolutely. Get and, out of here! Yeah, wow. yeah, you can wow. Google it. Holiday train, uh, Canadian Pacific. Wow. And they also have these cars with the Canadian Pacific holiday train, and the cars are all lit up. And they have three observation cars where they take dignitaries around and. And, and this train stops in every little town That's and the guys get out and there's a box car that has a big plate that drops down and it, 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 it it's a stage and then the carolers get on there and start singing really? Christmas carols, wow. absolutely. So it's a really cool so train. So on this model train, MTH model yeah. train, the lights will actually light oh, up yeah, on just, the train? Just like these bridges and wow. these houses. Wow. The same same colors as those. Very we cool. found these miniature LEDs. Do they blink at all? Or no, they just, no, they just, just stay solid on. Light. But that's okay. the way they are. Like I say, yep. you can Google it. You can get right, videos right. of it, seeing it coming into the town. Wow. It's, it's, a, it's a really cool wow. uh, train. So we, st we started nice. in the last RTR book, and we got them again, obviously. Yep. They all right. sold out. There. Yeah. 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 These are the last ones we have just to, to take the shows. We got a new bridge in there with these LEDs, and you know, lights. When we did those ES 44s, everybody right. knows how well they yep. sold in yep. every color. People like lights; they like things that move yeah. and lights. And these things are are really you know, cool. It's something different. Yep. It's something unique. It's something you could add to your layout for Christmas time. For Christmas time, it's great. Kids you know? love them. You yeah. run this around; they're going to be the most popular. Put these on your layout. You can take a regular house for the all year round and then switch these houses out or stations out now the bridge we also have in silver with white lights and mm -hmm. yeah you know, there's a lot of railroad bridges around the country if you google railroad bridges with christmas lights you'll see the the, the white lights uh, on right. there on the, on silver bridges so we we did one for christmas so you can uh, swap those out you know what's great about these lights is you don't have to turn the lights out to see the lights. Yeah. These things are bright as can be. Very bright. So bright. Very, yeah. bright. Yeah. Well, very nice. And I see you're continuing. And now we also, in the RTR book, not to cut you off, yep. but we yep. also yep. have the same set in Rail King. So all you Rail King guys okay. out there with 031, you can get the, the holiday train uh, also. So and also, great. in Rail King, we have the uh, 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 Union Pacific with the lights on it. Uh, so you can get oh, a regular good. railroad. So we're, we're lighting up everything until you guys say enough lights. And Mike, just a, a quick for all the new uh, train people out there, what's your difference between Rail King and Premier? So if they're looking at your catalog, they know uh, what to look at. Yeah, the Rail King will run on 031. It okay. basically it has to run on 031. It's for the guys who have a smaller, smaller layout or tighter curves, don't have the, the room for the bigger curves. The, and they're so they're less than scale. They're, they're typical Lionel 1950s size proportion, about 80 right. to, mm -hmm. to to 90 percent of maybe in some cases 70 percent depends on how big the engine is, so that it's small enough it'll run on 030. Okay. And mm -hmm. then the Premier line is all scale, scale. quarter okay. inch and a foot okay. scale. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. And I see you guys are keep on going with the first responders honoring veteran schemes, coming out with new cars, unique, different. And they're just like unbelievable because everybody's gobbling them up, yep. you know. And again, it's prototypical, something that's been been. It's on the rail. That's right. Um, awesome paint schemes, unique, yep. different, and you're just hitting the ball out of the park. Um, you know, they're coming out with new new tank cars, freight cars, and really cool new uh, new yeah, exciting. These products. are both in starter sets this year. Uh, we also have a uh, another ES44 with. Um, 
uh, the red, white, and blue with red, white, and blue lights. Uh, okay. You know, a Freedom uh, train. It says, "Let's roll on it." From, from wait, so that one has lights? That has the charging lights. Yeah, the Freedom one. The Freedom one. Wow, wow. That's a nice. Okay. That's a good So it's not just Fourth of July. We can use Fourth of July, but all those, and we're going to do a series of cars to go behind that. So you know, you got the the American flag all over it, and it's it's. Now I see you have a couple of cars here. I just want everybody to know that on our website, we have now made a dedicated section to specialty type sets because it's about 12 cars that you're making for that Absolutely. set now. And, and now and be both a, Royal King yep. and Premier. Yep, yep, so it'll be a lot easier to get matching items to, uh, to for the engine so that uh, you don't you don't don't run it like three pieces. You can run 12 pieces of the same uh, type of, uh, of uh, what do you call it? The, 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 uh, the honoring the veterans yeah, and also yeah, first yeah. responders, both, mm -hmm. both of those uh, sets. And, and like I say, all the train sets this year are all Wi-Fi operations. So you get that train set up yep. in, uh, in the, the uh, people that come over your house. You want to get your grandkids interested in trains? Yeah. You, br you get them to get their phone and run that train. It, their eyes mm -hmm. light up. Their friends can come over. Your friends can come over with, so, with a iPhone. So now are they looking for this DCS Wi-Fi app? Are, is it something that they have to look on the box it, and it says it, or any MTH Proto 3 uh, engine? Well, the Wi-Fi unit with it, now we have the new software out, the premium app, and that can run Lionel Legacy, TMCC, wow. DCS, wow. conventional trains. You got an old 1950s Lionel, you got a tin plate. It, this, the, you can run it with your iPad, your iPhone, through the uh, DCS system. You still need the TMCC box to plug it into. But it actually runs the legacy better. Wow. It's more uh, uh, user friendly than that remote. You mm -hmm. uh, check it out. You can download it on either Android devices or Apple devices, MTH space DCS. Get the app. You see the free app. You see all the different things they're able to do. Hook up AIUs. You can run accessories, switches, um, and, and make macros of it. Multiple switches at one time. You got 15 switches to get an uh, engine to a siding. Hit siding mm -hmm. one, bang! All those switches will go. The train will drive right into to the wow. siding. So it's it's really cool. And it's going to get young people into this hobby. Right. And and you, you gotta you gotta demonstrate it. You gotta show it to your friends. And when someone comes over to your house, they got a smartphone. Tell them to download the app and run your trains. <laughs> and so you you'll spread yeah. the hobby. Yeah. 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 Very good. Very good. Let's maybe grab that uh, new uh, NS paint scheme because that is neat. And yeah. really, no one's done this before in yeah. the hobby. Yeah, so right. this is brand new. No fucking southern on the real engine. So this yep. is a this is a real engine, mm -hmm. and this and then they did in the new catalog, which is on the cover, has the black front with the right. red and the uh, uh, the blue blue stripes. So this cool. was this is the first one we did. This was in 2017 uh, one. Very nice. I also noticed in the Rail King catalog or the Ready to Run catalog, you had the uh, green, the, the black with the green. Right, that's the eco scheme. That's eco. another no fucking that's southern. A really nice. Oh, absolutely. Like no that. fucking southern has made a great business yeah. you know, <laughs> expansion for the model railroads because they they painted all these things and what they're doing is you know the the tier four standards instead of instead of buying new locomotives with that standard which are, is very expensive they've gone and rebuilt engines and when they're rebuilding them they're just throwing different paint schemes on the eco scheme for the uh, now in the ready to run book the rail king will those have charging lights as well or just the freedom train uh, the freedom the the uh, halloween halloween christmas okay. christmas, christmas. Yep. okay right cool, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, very nice yeah this mm -hmm. lights in action that's yeah what, that's what we're looking at mm -hmm. let's go down there let's see some of uh the more uh premier set uh size engines <laughs> so what do we have in premier well the premier is start with obviously steam engines we right. got the big boy and they mm -hmm. said well we just made the big boy but the problem every time we make the big boy we made it in 4014 guys say how come you didn't make it in the scranton the number of the one in the scranton or the one uh, out in California or the one in Utah. Why, why, why haven't you made that one? Right, right, I've yeah, seen yeah. that one. So we said, look, let's just do them all. <laughs> and that way, the, and we call it a preservation series. So if you've seen uh, the engine or a couple of them at the different museums, I mean, okay. for good example, the one in Scranton, we had made that since the back when we originally made it. So that right. was back in the mm -hmm. 90s. It, it didn't have uh, you know the Proto Sound 2 and the Proto Sound mm -hmm. 3 and all that. So now you pick your number, whatever number you want, 
multiple numbers if you want. So we have that called the pres wow. right. preservation wow. series. When we made the GS4 yeah. a few yeah, years that's, back. That's a home run. Yeah, yeah that's the, a home run. The, 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 beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. A few, beautiful. few years back, they said, hey, where's the Freedom one? We didn't rerun it because we just <laughs> bought one or two, okay. so it didn't make too many. But right. but so we're going to go back and do the, the uh, Freedom one. And by the way, we're going to do the auxiliary tenor. It didn't get into the book, but it will okay. be on okay. the catalog. Okay. And with the Let's Roll, they, they right, painted right. on the real one, Let's Roll from the 911. Oh, very cool. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, we'll have that, and then we're also making Pacifics, and and actually at the show last time, York, a group of guys came up and they begged me to make the 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 uh, the Redding. Actually, that's not it, but the 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 um, the Redding in Northern. Uh, there it is. That's a B and O. So it's this page here. Here you go. Uh, the the Redding in Northern Pacific. Okay. And that's being restored right now. So that, that's a big hit on the OGR form. You're, mm -hmm. you're reading about that, but that's going to be a good one. Yep, that's uh, great. Wow. Yeah, so and that started at York. Guys came okay. up and said, yeah. you got to make that engine. So we put the Pacifics in there so we could make that engine. We've got a lot oh, of It's a beautiful it. color. It is. You know, it something is. different and unique. And again, we're going to try to get a, a tender that closely matches the auxiliary tender that they have. And it's painted oh. on the side. You can ride the oh, wow. Redding and Northern. So, uh, yeah, I noticed in this catalog, yeah, you went more color in, in this more catalog. Color. A lot yeah. of different things color instead of the black. Cell. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Let's start with the the the, uh, the, Ken, the Ken Bianco theory. Yeah. <laughs> I love color. <laughs> now, now you're also doing uh, first responders and honoring veterans That's in right. Premier as right. well. That's correct. Okay. And the freight cars, the box cars, the tank cars. Those are all prototypical cars. Again, right. you can Google all those. But uh, uh, those pop we even did the fire truck, the one that they had the up in Altoona when well, they when they announced and uh, the grand opening of this after they painted it, they had a fire truck brought in. We got that that fire truck also. Wow, wow, very cool. And very I noticed nice. also you're making this uh, cancer awareness engine, and that's the first time it's in an engine. Usually we Correct. The different cars. companies make cars and right. stuff, but that's that's really attractive. We did the, do the nice. uh, ES44 with the flashing lights also uh, a little while back. But Oh yeah, that's yeah, the one I couldn't yeah. get on any of. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Didn't order them in time. The, these, I can, these I can buy, right? <laughs> you can order okay. those. <laughs> right, right, right. And yeah, also the Halloween one, which has a really, uh, there's a Halloween engine in oh, here. Okay. And these are back at Rail King, but uh, the uh, the Halloween has some great sounds. Um, great sound files in it. Well, we'll find it. There we go. Mm -hmm. The Halloween version. So there's a bit. We did diesels with the charger lights, so and now you can get a steam engine. And, and nice. okay, great sound. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. It looks very scary, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, we're also gonna have a Halloween section on our website under the MTH2. This way, you can see all the different Halloween stuff yeah. all in one spot and more instead of searching on the, the whole website. And also, uh, what I saw the honoring oh, yeah, veterans. Yeah. Uh, well, NHO. That was. Oh yeah, we got a, a license with uh, with um, New Jersey Transit again. Mm -hmm. And so we're making the Elvis engine, mm -hmm. and there's a, there's actually five, I think it's five or six Jersey Transit engines in there. So we've got them all while we got the one okay. year license. With Very them. cool. And and so all you Jersey Transit fans, it's now or never. Yeah. Yeah. An Elvis engine? They called this the Elvis engine. Elvis. Yeah, because <laughs> of the the black sidebirds. And that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's first wow. I heard that. Right. Very, good. Very, Very good. good. <laughs> cool <That's> engine. Funny. <laughs> That's good, and uh, so you got E8s in there. A lot, of, a lot of new, unique, different stuff. You got a GP60M Maersk, um, that's always done very well. Unique, yeah. different. And Lehigh scheme. Valley. I got so many guys at this show asking me for Lehigh Valley stuff. There it is, right yeah, there. Right, right. Pre-order it. And, um, but yeah, there's a lot. The colors, you know, this is yeah. another yeah. Operation North Pole, North. Which, which is okay. which is over in uh, Chicago for the kids yeah. uh, for at Christmas time. They they run this, and then also the Veterans Salute Your Veterans Amtrak engine. So yeah. there's a lot of a lot of cool stuff. In this and game. the ONP stands for uh, Operation North, North Pole. Right, North that's North. The, yeah. you know, take presents to kids. Wow, and yeah. I mean, give them rides on the train. And again, okay. prototypical. Yeah, absolutely, so it's actually absolutely. Out there. So now that Christmas car series that you make, you can use this engine with that absolutely awesome, right? absolutely yeah. 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 very cool very nice all right nice catalog nice catalog Thank you. Well, let's mm. also touch up on some g scale so let's yep. hop on over okay, okay. The, uh, right we got a new 2017 catalog got a lot of uh, new colored freight cars in there Dash 8's in there, both four-wheel and six-wheel trucks. Got the GS4. The big boys were just teasing everybody. They're all sold out, so if you haven't ordered one, I don't know if they have any, but they're, they're sold out and they're coming in. Uh, the uh, GS4 is next, and we're going to make that in the Freedom. And, and 
uh, also the Dash H you can see is in the, the uh, first responders mm -hmm. and the veterans were just putting it, at, you know, using that uh, in every game so everybody can have fun with it. Yeah. You got, are definitely coming out with different, unique paint schemes and G-Scale, making G-Scale exciting again. So good. thank you good. so much. And look at the quality, metal wheels, um, you know, just Stain beautiful. Stainless steel metal wheels. Stainless not just, not oh, just, wow. and a lot more expensive than regular okay. steel. So. Yeah. Right. Some companies use plastic wheels and then the track gets dirty. It just, they, they start wearing out and get dust all over the place. But the metal wheels, the way to go, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And look, it adds weight to the car. Look at the, uh, the detailing on that, beautiful. And no one's ever done this painting. The GS4, we got it in the daylight. I mean, mm -hmm. the uh, American Freedom, uh, Southern Pacific, Western Pacific, uh, BNSF. So there's your chance to get the GS4. We're going to do one G scale steam engine a year. So mm -hmm. last year was the big boy. This is a GS4, so it ain't going to come okay. around wow. for a while okay. again. So if you wanted one, Get it now. And make yeah, sure you yeah. get your pre-orders in. Yeah, that's just just like the big boy. They're totally sold out. In sold. Europe, I get I'm getting emails every day. They need more. They need more mm -hmm. uh, of the yeah. of the big boys are just gone. So yeah. unbelievable. So all right, thank you. And um, let's also maybe we could take a look at uh, maybe the DCS Wi-Fi app on sure. We got some little demo stations here. Yeah, let me so get my we'll uh, take a look. So we're here at York and Mike is doing something great for the hobby, great for the industry, and great for the show. Basically he has a bunch of tables set up and you come here and you learn about trains and your new Wi-Fi app and how to run them and you know, see how easy it is. Hands so, on. Yeah. Hands on. Everybody's got a, a smartphone. Most people have smartphones these days. <laughs> and, and, I got one. And, and some of them just use it for the phone and then we're teaching people how to download an app. Yeah. Download our app, MTH Space DCS. You can get it on Androids or Apple devices. And they start. They first say, ah, oh, no, the road mode's fine or whatever. And you put it on their phone and you start running it with their phone. It's a different world. Kids these days, what do they have in their hand all the time? Their text and their, their uh, you know, uh, social media. You get them and put the, the train on there, you will be the hit. You're the granddad, the kids, the grandkids come over, you're the hit of the show right. with, with these trains. And so, you know, I'm really a believer in this technology. I and mean, we've, just in apps, we have uh, about $400,000 invested just to develop wow. these apps. Because I believe in them, this is the future of the hobby. Everybody can get involved. Uh, it, it brings our hobby into the 21st century. The great part about Wi-Fi versus Bluetooth, there's some of the other manufacturers doing Bluetooth, you can connect, as many people can stand around and connect to the same train, and you can connect to multiple trains and run 10 different, 20 different, whatever, you get the power all at one time. Bluetooth is one at a time. You're connected to the engine, one engine at a time. Wi-Fi, multiple engines through walls. Everybody's got Wi-Fi in their homes. Wherever you get the signal for the Wi-Fi, you can start to train up in your bedroom and it's in the basement. Right. So wherever the Wi-Fi signal goes, you have access to the trains. It's faster, it's a big color screen. You hit the startup, you're running this engine, and you want it to go that speed, you just touch the, the speed. You want it to go slower, slow it down. <laughs> play the whistle. These have playable whistles. You can play the whistles, the bell. You see here, you got your smoke, your headlight, your PFA, your Doppler, everything in couplers. Nice big color screen. Yep. Why, in, why buy a little tiny remote when you have already in your house, people have got tablets. You can buy tablets now on eBay, a used Apple iPad for $100. Yeah. So you got a big color screen. You got all of the, the soft, that used to be little acronym soft keys at the top. Now you can read the sound and you're gonna be able to go in here and change these uh, sounds to the, the, the custom sounds, lights, the odometer, trip uh, odometer, chronometer, track voltage, all that stuff it, that people haven't really used the system because they're not familiar with one. Now it's all in English language, very, very accessible, and, and kids understand all these controllers. They're playing games, they understand how to use this. You give this to a five-year-old, he'll pick it up so fast, <laughs> yeah. it's unbelievable. Yeah. So, you know, multiple trains, you can run conventional trains this way, vary the voltage, you can run uh, switches. You can set up multiple switches in what we call routes. So that's a macro. It can be 10 different switches. One open, one closed, one open, one closed. Hit it. Bang. 
bang, 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 all your switches go and wow. the train drives wherever you want it to, to go. But now it's got to be complicated to program this engine into the iPad, no? No way. It's it's actually very simple. You, you go back here, you go here and it just says add engine, you go out and add an engine and it can M MTH or TMCC Legacy. So oh. all you guys out there that have the Lionel Legacy system, try this. It is, it's so much better than the, the, the um, you see it goes out there and reads and finds the engines that's on the track. The MTH engines will report back. The Lionel engines, they don't know who they are. They won't be able to report back, so you have to manually go in there and select it. We like to come, you know, anybody so that knows who they are is pretty smart, right? An MTH engine, it just comes up? Two-way direction, really? right, right wow. there. It's found the engine, I find it, I say run this engine, that's all it is to it. And it's very reliable because of the Wi-Fi signal. It's very fast and reliable. Right. So you're, you're gonna have a lot less. Uh, I think the, the biggest problem and number one issue on, I guess, uh, some of the, the older remote systems is that programming the train is very difficult and very hard. This, it just pops up, that's great, easy and, to And use. all the people who have the DCS now, and they got, a, I've got people coming up to the show, I got 50 engines in my remote. I don't want to type all that back into the app. Don't have to. Automatically, you hook it up to the TIU, and you suck it all into your iPad and transfer all that data there. So all your accessories, switches, engines, you can automatically upload into this thing. So, you know, and, and as far as uh, new software, there's going to be an upgrade button, just bang. New software in your TIU, new software uh, upgrade for this. Apple and Android, they both uh, uh, hold the app. And so when you buy the upgrade, you're, you're paying them through the app and to get the, uh, the additional features. So we're going to keep on adding features to this thing. You know you talk to this thing, right? Yep. You talk to your phone. <laughs> and, and, and you can type emails and everything. So it's got all that voice recognition in it. Where do you think it's going next? You're going to be walking around talking to it. You're going to do train world TV, talk to the train, it's going to turn on the I don't know if it can go as fast as you do. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but Mike, you are a wealth of knowledge and the whole industry thanks you so much for everything that you're doing. He's investing a ton of money into new technology, trying to advance trains to uh, do more, 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 people into more people into the hobby. So you're the amount of uh, work you put in and dedication and time, effort. He doesn't have to do this. <laughs> so uh, I, we, we all really, truly well, I appreciate, appreciate you guys. it. Mike. Yeah. And um, you yeah. make, make sure you get all your MTH product at trainworld.com. We're taking pre-orders on the new catalog. Um, we should have it all up by uh, hopefully the end of the next week. And um, yeah, take pre-orders and- uh, Download those apps. Yeah, download those apps. Thank yeah. you guys. <laughs>